What makes Daniel different from savants like Dane and so extremely valuable to science is that he can describe what's going on inside his head. I experience numbers in a very visual way, using colors, texture, shape, and form, sequences of numbers, form, landscapes in my mind. It just happens. It's like having a fourth dimension. It's one, for example, would be very bright, very bright and shiny number. It's almost like somebody flashing a light in my face, you know, it's a very, it's a very interesting experience. Number two is kind of like a movement, right to left, kind of like a drifting motion. Five is like the clap of thunder or the sound of a wave against the rock. Six is very small, it's actually the number I find hardest to experience in any sort of meaningful visual way, so it's, it's often the absence of anything, it's like a hole or, a, or a, a chasm or like a black hole. Number nine is the biggest number, it's very tall, it can be intimidating. Daniel says he sees every number up to 10,000 as a distinct shape or image. Until recently, many researchers would have dismissed this as mumbo-jumbo. But there is now a sound, scientific explanation. Different parts of our brain are specialised for different tasks. Juggling numbers, for example, or seeing shapes. If cross-activation occurs between areas that are normally separate, then things can get very mixed up. You might hear a sound and see a colour or think a number and feel emotion. Scientists call this weird phenomenon synesthesia. How is he able to do such huge calculations without any conscious effort? When you did this computation in your head, what exactly was going on in your head? What were you doing? I see an image in my head and that image starts to change, it starts to almost like evolve. It's quite vague at first. As I'm looking at it, it becomes clearer and clearer over a time and then from, from that landscape I can read the digits out. So it sort of gradually crystallizes? Yes. In a multiplication, the two numbers hover before him as distinct shapes. The gap in between makes a third shape, which Daniel experiences as a new number. The correct answer. He's doing math, but he doesn't even know it. When it comes to numbers, it seems that Daniel's brain really is doing something extraordinary. I'm blown away. Something the scientists can't yet get a handle on. This could be the linchpin that spawns...